Hi, it's Sharp Quinlan from Tipperary ETV. Today I'm going to show you how to make some tin can lanterns for your garden for the summertime. This is a great craft to upcycle tin cans. The first thing you will need is to freeze a can of water overnight in your deep freeze. You will also need a permanent marker, a hammer, some nails. One nail will do, I just have three in different sizes, and some paint and a brush. So with your permanent marker, you need to draw a design onto your tin can. Now the idea is you're going to punch holes in to let the light from your tea light candle come through. So any design you do, you're going to do it in dots. Now you'll find when your can comes out of the freezer that it's quite difficult to draw the design on. So give it a good dry off with a tea towel or something. And here's one that I've already done. So what you need to do next is get your hammer and nails and you're going to basically pierce holes into the tin can, okay? This is why you need the ice inside because it's actually quite hard to pierce this without denting the can otherwise. So the ice gives you some resistance. Just piercing each hole you've drawn with a hammer and a nail. If you find the hammer and nail tiresome, you can actually use a drill with a bit in it. Now, if I hadn't the ice in this, it would resist, it wouldn't resist the hammer or the drill and it would just dent. So as you can see, the holes are now pierced into the heart design on the can. And you can either wait for your water to defrost in your can or turn it upside down and let the water and ice drain out. Now, depending on the way you want to display your tin can lantern when it's finished, you can either just have it as a standalone lantern or you can also pierce holes in the two sides to attach a handle or some rope or threads. So before we start to paint our tin can, we just need to give it a dry off because of the water in it. Give it an extra wipe to take off the black marker as well. And you just apply your paint basically to your tin can. Make sure not to fill in the holes so that the light will come through when you light your tea light. Um, your tin can usually takes two coats of paint. And what you can do is sponge on other colors, etc. But I'm just gonna give you the basic idea today and you can tweak it to suit yourself. For my second coat on the can, I'm going to do more of a brushed blue effect so it's more beachy looking. So just some blue and white paint and just apply it. I'm not even going to try and blend it correctly or anything. And we're just going to let that dry. A handle to your lantern. You've got two choices really. You can use some string or rope or even ribbon to hang the lantern. Or what I like to do is use wire. Now usually I'd use a thicker gauge wire, but at the moment with the lockdown, all I have is this thin jewelry wire. So what I do is I usually cut my wire to 16 inches, okay? And then I have a jewelry pliers, but any pliers would do. And I'm just going to thread it in through the hole I made earlier. And just do a simple twist. And pinch. And then what I do is I usually thread it with some beads. So any old or odd beads, broken necklaces, things like that that you have around are perfect for this part. And then you just thread on your beads, making your wire as straight as possible so that they roll. I'm going to put a bigger bead in the center. So I've just chosen some kind of blue beads I had lying around because they will suit it. Now, if I had enough, I would go the whole way around. Just giving you an idea of what you can do. And I'll just position those in the center.